Last night's loss to South Dakota, South Dakota cost the Bison the top seed, but not much else. NDSU earned the number two seed in the FCS playoffs. Two key things to remember. NDSU gets a first round bye and they will host until the tournament moves to Frisco for the national championship. The Bison will play whoever wins the Abilene Christian Northern Arizona game. Both Dakotas and Montana very well represented in the top 16. Montana State gets the one seed while SDSU and USD take three and four. The Grizzlies are in there at, at number 14. Yesterday was a big day for Dickinson State and the heaters they keep on their sidelines. The Blue Hawks won their first round playoff matchup against Kansas Wesleyan 27 to 20 and moved on to the second round. Many brave DSU fans went up against the cold to watch their first home playoff game in 20 years. Will Madler was solid once again, and he was downright tactical on DSU's go-ahead touchdown drive. And look at this, folks. This was just a thing of beauty. This ends up being the game winner, a 12-yard scamper from the former BHS Demon for six to send the Blue Hawks to the second round of the NAIA playoffs which we don't like to run them a lot and keep them healthy but we uh, you know that to go win a playoff game you got to have them go and I think that was a big thing then we just ran that ran that quarterback run game and obviously popped the big touchdown at the end once I just got past that second level and felt a few arms hit my legs and there was nobody in front of me uh, all you see is daylight and you just take advantage of it you know I always get asked what's it like to be a blue hawk and I think today encompassed all of that next up for DSU is the second round at Montana Western on Saturday they've done it again folks Century captured their 10th state title last night under the bright lights of the Fargo Dome. The championship run caps a season in which the Pats went 36-4 and with a conference record of 21-1. and And they had to go through the back-to-back -back defending champion West Fargo Cheyenne to do it. Two players registered double-digit kills, Sylvia Taylor and Alexis Heinley. Hope Bauman chipped in with three aces and 13 digs, while Holland Fitterer had 13 digs as well. Atriana Backman turned in a few aces of her own with seven kills, three blocks, and 13 digs. The Patriots ended up beating the Mustangs 3-1. to one. It just feels really awesome, and there's just no other people I'd rather do it with, and just being able to fight for my teammates and give my heart and leave it all out as my last game is just really special for me. As a little girl, you always dream of being in the state tournament, so always just watching the older girls play in that game, it feels really good to finally be that one. We kind of felt that you know, let down of not being there for one year and watching that championship game and then coming back this year and being able to be in that game. So it definitely was um, an exciting time for the program. This was Coach Zastapol's eighth state championship as the head coach of Century. And in the Summit League Championship, NDSU Volleyball falls to Denver 3-1. to We'll be right back after this.